right, so here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proving ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy. And as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached the level of Conor McGregor. And you think he's just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was gonna do, and he eventually did it. From knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez, there's just too much to say about the Notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger-than-life character, and I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management, few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor, and he'll look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns. DC, like Frank Sinatra, this man has done it his way. The former UFC welterweight and middleweight champion, George Rush St. Pierre. A lot of people believe pound for pound, DC, GSP is the best they've ever seen. Yes, because he was able to mix everything together so well. When he was fighting a wrestler, he was able to keep the fight standing. When he was fighting a striking specialist, he was able to take him to the ground. His jiu-jitsu and just his full-on MMA game was something that we had never seen in the UFC before. Won the UFC championship at middleweight after being away for four years. Just showed how special George St. Pierre truly is. In terms of MMA application of wrestling, no one has done it better than George Rush St. Pierre. GSP George St. Pierre set to fight the notorious Conor McGregor. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world and the former UFC lightweight champion, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC middleweight champion and former UFC welterweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, George Rush St. B. See how it goes here in the super fight round one. George St. Pierre versus Conor McGregor. Your thoughts on how soon GSP might shoot at those legs of Right away, George St. Pierre is one of those guys that understands that the path of least resistance is how to get a victory. He has done this over the course of his whole career. He will not stand in power. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its own way. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Alder fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, 
Reverses the position there. Nice transition by McGregor. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover and toss it off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Smart adjustment, yep. Now he's going full mount. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by GSP. Under two minutes to go here in round one. All right, so he's setting up for submission here. That is tight. to fight on. Big elbow there, Lance. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh. Oh. oh, another heavy shot gets through. In the half guard. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Great job landing from the top position. Round one winding down here. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh. Round two next. Oh. Well, oh. St. Pierre's trying for a submission here. Ooh, that's tight, I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. All right, that is it for round one. St. Pierre's got a cut to deal with above the eye, or perhaps better put. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face. You ready to fight? Ready. The second round on the way. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston, and it lands again. It's like an atabot. Like, he hits people, and they fall down and he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep thinking back to him and Eddie Alvarez, how every time he hit him, he just knocked him out of his shoe. Kind of to his feet. Massive head kick. Oh. Oh. oh, he is hurting for certain. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that push shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with the reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish with the right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Oh man, the hard hook lands again. He's had that weapon going all night. It's one of his best strikes. He does a good job of turning on it, landing it, and getting back to distance. Oh! Beautiful left hand. going to be shut for a couple weeks and uh all right so the ref has called a break to the action and it likely means yes he will call in the doctor to look at that cut which is just leaking all over the octagon right now. a lot of blood john but this is a fight i mean guys bleed girls bleed uh -huh. it happens in a fight these guys should be able to continue crowd wants the fight to continue and it looks as though it will but maybe stylistically might have to change some things and get aggressive because that cut's not getting anywhere. Right, that cut is only going right. to get worse every time right. you get hit in it it just gets worse and worse
All right, now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! All right, well, as many of you know, the overwhelming majority of Conor McGregor's pro MMA wins have come by knockout, and he produces another one here in the Octagon tonight. Produces another knockout. Conor McGregor will tell you that he's going to knock you out, and he goes out there, and he does it. Hats off to Conor McGregor and all of his coaches for another massive victory in another huge spot 